Hi guys and welcome to the tutorial video for the Northern Homestead. Um, this is basically going to make this nice little house here, um, which is a very cool little uh, uh, house, lift off the roof, get inside etc. Um, and it has got, uh, it's got two different types of sheets, three sheets in total. You've got two of this sheet here with this surround stone surround here and some walls and bits and pieces on it and then you've got one uh, sheet with the individual items like the roofs and things we only need one of um, okay so first of all what I'm going to do I'm just going to build the basic structure of this particular house so I'm going to I'm going to nip off some walls and bits here do that first Okay, so there you go. I knocked out all the little windows and bits and pieces that, um, and I'm gonna save this little scatter because I like it to uh, keep it to kind of add some atmosphere to my battlefield. Uh, long wall, I've got three different sort of half walls. Um, each, uh, this one's got a door in it. Um, I, 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 I knocked the floor off um, here as well. I'm not actually gonna use that yet, but um, there you go, I've showed you that. Uh, and then I've got, uh, let's have a look, I've got four T-clips, a straight clip, and a uh, cross clip and I'm going to assemble that now in a, in a particular configuration so we could then put the beams around it. So I'm going to do that now. Okay and you'll see here that I've got a couple of um, these wall pieces left over so I move those to one side. They're great to be used for um, different types of builds. You might want a little thing going on somewhere else and it uh, with this, there's there's lots of different combinations. They can be used with larger buildings or um, just creating lots of different buildings. The more of these um, houses you've got, um, so uh, yeah, you see I've got a cross clip at the, uh, at the front here, and I've got a couple of uh, uh, I've got I've got then got T clips all the way around except for here where I've got a straight clip and another T clip facing forward. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to grab the bits that are going to that we're going to attach onto here. Okay, so I've got a couple of these longer struts here, uh, a couple of shorter ones. I've got this big apex beam support thing here and my two little horse struts. Um, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to pop these on here. Now the horse struts are going to go at the front just here. Um, the, the front of the building, the side of the building, sorry, is where the little door is. So we're going to put these on here and then we're going to put these shorter of the two on the side here and then the longer ones at the back. I'll do that now. And that's that. Shorter, longer, and the horsey struts at the, at the, at the beginning. And then um, you've then got this like long slot here. Um, and all we're going to do is going to pop this in here. And there you go. A little bit tight here. Probably should have adjusted that slot with my little side snippers, um, which I haven't got here. Um, but... Um, yeah, there you go. That's um, that's the basic structure um, that will you know uh, work for you. And I've also got these floors here that I mentioned earlier. I like the little surround with the wooden bit, and I just want to make sure that that fits in here. Okay. There you go. And I can I can basically move that around. It's actually inside. If I lift it up, they'll fall out. Uh, yeah, uh, but I but I I've definitely got those inside um, the the house, and they're not that they're they're inside. They're not. It's not sitting on top of it. It's completely flush. Um, so that's really cool. Don't need to do that now. I just wanted to make sure it was fine, and it is. So now that I've got to this particular stage, I just need to put my two apex on the top, which I've got over here. Two apex two um, L clips, I'm going to pop those on and they're going to go straight on the front and the back. Just like that and we've got this nice little uh, house now with uh, or homestead um, and we're ready to go. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do then is I'm just going to uh, pop on the uh, the roof so I'll get those. Uh, 
And here's my two roof pieces. I've also popped out the little little bits and pieces here. You can leave those in if you want your roof to be a little bit uh, less in tatters. Um, I like it in tatters, so I've removed those out of the way. And uh, if you've got any of our other um, fantasy building terrain, uh, you'll probably already know, but just in case, I'll tell you now that these roofs are very special because they've got um, quarter cuts in them, which are a little bit, um, little bit more kind of um, harder to bend through, and they're done like that on purpose. So like all of our roofs, what we're going to do is we're going to bend through these very, very carefully and don't over bend them, just, just a little bit of a bend. Okay, so um, unlike some of our other fantasy roofs, what we don't have is we don't have the roof clips on here. They're integrated um, because of the design of how these look. They're integrated onto the top. Um, and both these roofs are identical. So all you're doing really is you're spinning them round and kind of very carefully working your way in. Oops. And you do that. And it should be, it could be reasonably stiff. It could be quite loose. It's completely fine because it's just going to sit on top of our house. Now I might not have this bent enough. We're going to have a look. So I'm going to bring it over to here uh, and I'm going to stick it on the top of there. Don't know. That looks pretty spiffing to me. And you can see, you can see here that it, it kind of just naturally fits just into this area here. And on this side, there's nothing for it to slot into. Some of the other buildings, there will be things on both sides for it to slot into. And that really just sits on top of there really nice and easy. Um, and because of these, it, it won't move or fall off or anything like that. So this is really, really nice. I think that's absolutely lovely. And it is the basic design of it. This is the construction. This is what you need to know. Um, what happens after that really is a case uh, of things that you will do once you've got it onto the battlefield. So, for example, once you've set up your battlefield and you've got everything in place, that's when, that's when you're going to put the floor in. You know, and you'll say, right, OK, I'm definitely going to have this building here. And so you'll pop the floor in and you'll also pop on or pop around these bits here as well. So I'm going to take those off the sheet now. Okay, so I've taken these off now, uh, and you'll, obviously they're identical. Um, I've popped out the uh, little stones, one, two, three, four, there's five on each of here, of these little stones. Obviously don't throw these away, because these literally are kind of like little uh, stepping stone bits and pieces. They're really good for adding uh, uh, extra depth and immersion to your battlefield. Um, and then you'll notice here that these are kind of like jigsaws. Okay, so each little part comes out and slots back in. This There's two reasons for this. One is obviously we want to uh, be able to keep everything in place when you are, and look at that, I've forgotten one of these. Whoops, get rid of that. See, see, I don't know what I'm doing. No idea what I'm doing. Ba, 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 ba. Okay, um, and it's gonna, it's gonna sit around your building like this, basically. Um, and these are very specifically designed to fit around this building in a particular way. And these holes are here in these positions uh, for exactly that purpose. And you should be able to put one one way and one the other way. But, well, let's do that first, actually. And there it is. I put these into place and they really do fit. It really shouldn't be, your building shouldn't be sitting on top of these. You can see here, it should move around these little posts, but also stay in place as it were. Um, and and that's, that's done like that on purpose because what you want to do is, um, and I haven't done it, I should have done it first, is you'd have your floor in as well. Um, and so that sits inside the building. The walls then, the walls then sit on the floor, and then this surround fits around there. And it does mean that you'll be able to slide the whole thing around, floors and all, move it about without the bits and pieces falling out. And it means that when you're playing lifting off roofs, these things don't constantly get moved or knocked or slowly move away from your building. Um, so that is really really cool. The reason that they are in uh, little jigsaw pieces is because if, if you've got a few of these houses and you've got the full set, you're going to want to be trying to build lots of different shaped 
you know, um, interest in longer houses and stuff like that. And so what we wanted to do, we wanted to be able to give you that flexibility to take them apart and, and really just put them around your building and have little patches of stone and stuff like that, which is um, really kind, kind of interesting. Uh, and that's, uh, we certainly do that with the, the bigger buildings like the Mead Hall and, uh, and so on and so forth. Um, but in its essence, that is kind of your homestead basic um, uh, house. There are lots of things though, still on these sheets, some of which I want to talk to you about now. So first of all, you've got these large floor, uh, kind of canopy floor pieces, I'll put these out. Okay, and again, don't throw these bits and pieces away, I'll pop these out, I want those for scatter to put inside barrels and bits and pieces. Um, but, but you can leave those in if you want them to be less um, degraded, less falling apart, as it were. So, when you've got these, you have got, what well, they're specifically designed so that you can then pop that in there. So at the back of your house now, you've got this nice little overhang canopy here. Um, and then you've actually got a spare one that you can use uh, with various different things. And you'll see on this homestead sheets that you do get um, spares of things because they're often used in bigger buildings like the Mead Hall, for example. Uh, or your stables or so on and so forth. But there's all sorts of crazy things that you can do and you can kind of like have like little under storage areas to um, you know to keep your barrels and bits and pieces in. Um, or you could just take a knife to these and sort of cut, cut them up and make strips of wood or um, you know half canopies or glue bits together if you've got multiples and make larger canopies, all sorts of different things. But again, that's your basic structure um, with this on the back. Also on these sheets, you will find um, things like uh, ladders, which you know we've all seen before, um, and you pop all these bits out, and of course that gives you then access to the back of here. Again, save these, and there's your ladder that gives you access to the back of your building there, uh, which is really cool. And we've also got lots of little things like this. We've got little swords, more scatter. We've got little shields, lots of little shields and lances and bits and pieces. Um, specifically here, we've got these little wolf skins. And uh, they're really, really good as well. You can see over on this one here. I've got them and you can put them over the tops of the windows uh, and you can have them on these little side pieces here. Uh, and it just adds a lot of really interesting details. You can, you know, you can pop off one of these little shields and you can stick a shield up here if you like, or you can have it like hanging on the wall down here or something. Um, and, uh, I, and really it's those little bits and pieces like that that really kind of bring your homestead to life, which for me makes a, you know, a real big difference. Um, on the final build. It's just that little bit of extra X factor. Um, what else have we got on here? Well, we have got um, some more of those wolf skins. We've got some things that we're not gonna specifically talk about right now. Um, so for example, we've got barrels. You'll find that on the dedicated uh, scatter video. We've got uh, a weapons rack, which you can put these lances and swords and bits and pieces on. Um, again, we're not gonna deal with that on this video. That's the dedicated um, a scatter video. We've also got a, a bed here, which again is on the dedicated scatter video along with this table here and these chairs. And that would really let you kind of flesh out the inside of your homestead. You can stick a bed in it. You can have the weapons rack in there. I like to have the weapons rack outside. That's a really good sort of like um, vibe to, 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 to everything really. Uh, and the last thing we've got here, or nearly the last thing, is this little uh, strip of wood here. Uh, and that sits across the top of here for your side canopy. Uh, if you want it on there as well to go above the door, you know, while you're taking your shoes off from cleaning your muddy shoes off, you don't want to get rained or snowed on. Um, finally, we have got this little uh, extra door here. Now, this is a double door and it will allow you to put, you know, have your building optional with a larger door as well. Also, if, uh, the, the, the main reason this is here is actually because we use we use one of these uh, roof sheets here in the Mead Hall to get some of the bits and pieces on it. Uh, and, and that's where this 
uh, door is really useful. But of course, if you've got just this building, you, you've now got another option to be able to uh, you know, have a, a larger door on one of the builds that you're setting up, which I think is really fantastic. And that is your lovely homestead.